thank you all for attending, and thank you to those that made all of this possible tonight. In the end, all of us here today are talking about our relationship to the land. And for the indigenous people, it is very different. The most important message here is that we are on Tongva land. They are the people who should be making decisions about their land and the sacred sites on it. This should include... This should include both non-federally recognized and recognized tribes. I do not live far from here, so I am lucky. You see, I have spent time here on Whittier and Arrows fishing with my children when they were young, just over there. And they rode their bikes up and down all these paths, and my wife jogged with them. I remember Spicer, my dog, dragging me into the lake, chasing the geese and the ducks. So as a local resident, I appreciate my green open space. This is where I grew up and where I raised my family. I really don't know a human being who hates to smell a rose or sit in the shade of a tree on a warm day. I can't imagine anyone who would be against parks and beaches and trails in the San Gabriel Mountains. I have hiked the Santanita Creek to see the waterfall. My elders have the fondest memories of Marano Beach, just up the road. I support a national recreation area that includes indigenous input at every step of the way. We live in the conquered space, but we are attached forever to the sacred places of our ancestors. You see, I am from the Ahachiman Nation. We are the Huanyanos from the Ahachiman Nation, have loved Mother Earth for more than 10,000 years, and our attachment goes beyond just all the pretty little plants, flowers, and trees and the shade they provide. Our climate, our culture, and very existence are connected to Earth. Preservation of our land is a matter of life and death. Our religious practice are attached to the land. One of our sacred sites, Panhe, is under attack by road makers, corporations, and pollution. And we all need all of you in this room to help us protect and also to protect San Onofre State Beach. We need all of you. I would not ask you to tear down a church, a mosque, a temple, or a synagogue for the sake of progress. Please meet with us to save Pondhi. I believe we are here to dignify ourselves by sharing truth and honesty. So I am compelled to ask officials to assist us. I have filed an administrative complaint with the Department of Interior and the EPA to save California State's parks for all. The New York Times says federal intervention may be needed to save endangered state parks. I agree. Many sacred sites are in state parks. I am working with Robert Garcia and the City Project, yet the complaint we filed has yet to be investigated after 10 months, far beyond the 20-day deadline. Please help us. I was reading an article on the San Francisco peaks in Arizona where 13 tribes are trying to save sacred land from desecration. A writer wrote, quote, considered sacred, end quote. I thought I'd better look up uh, consider. It means to think carefully about, ponder on a problem, a decision, to contemplate. But indigenous, indigenous history is often forgotten and distorted by famous professors, prestigious universities, governments, and even well-meaning people, so I am not surprised. We are questioned and judged even about our religious practices. Please save the San Francisco Peaks. The bankers, and financial corporations have been saved. 
Now it is time to save the people and their land. Please end the wars and bring the troops home. Be back.